With me is Sir Mark of Walport. He is the Chief Scientific Advisor to the British Government. So welcome to the Russia News. So my first question is, what's the agenda of your visit to India? Uh, the reason my visit is to celebrate a very successful collaboration between the research councils over the last five years with scientists and funders in India. And between them, they've put in 150 million pounds in terms of research partnerships and I'm here to celebrate that and also to discuss the outcomes of that and how we can take it forward looking to the future. So what are the major fields, the scientific fields, where India and UK are collaborating? They're very broad indeed. So they, they touch the important issues for both countries. So health, obviously, mm -hmm. um, energy, mm -hmm. climate, mm -hmm. all sorts of issues around that. So the important areas that cover both our nations. Uh, what's the future uh, like for the collaboration? Well, we've been discussing that this afternoon, and I think that we are both extremely pleased by the outcomes of the research we've funded so far, and so we're discussing how we can take it forward, looking to the future. Okay, so, uh, sir, recently uh, India launched its Mangal Yan mission. How do you see it as? Well, a exploration of space is always something that's excited people. It gets young people excited about science. And it's another area where we've worked together, which is in education mm -hmm. and the development of skills mm -hmm. and uh, exciting people about science, about engineering, about technology mm -hmm. is very important. There's no question that people do get excited by things like a Mars mission. Mm -hmm. So uh, any future plans of collaborating with India on any uh, space missions? Uh, I, I'm not sure on space missions per se, but space is a very active area of collaboration. Mm. And indeed, space is very important, not only for looking out, but also for observing what's happening on the Earth itself. So it's very important in terms of understanding weather, understanding climate. There's all sorts of things that one can monitor from space. So it's a very active area for both our countries. So my last question is, the UK has a, a great amount of, the, uh, of Indian diaspora. How have people of Indian origin contributed to the scientific research in uh, the country? Oh, they've contributed enormously uh, in all areas of science. Um, and I suppose one of the most spectacular examples recently was the award of the Nobel Prize to Venki Ramakrishnan in Cambridge for his work on the structure of biologically important proteins. So that was the chief scientific advisor to the British government talking exclusively to Doordarshan News.